We're specifically targeting our trapezius muscle here, which is the shape of a trapezoid on your back, starting right at the occipital bone at the base of the skull and moving down into mid thoracic spine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and begin face down on our mats in a prone position, starting with crocodile pose. So coming all the way down, this is really a pose of relaxation. If you have what we consider tech neck, meaning that you're doing a lot of tech, maybe typing or texting a lot, you round the upper body, this is a great way to help relax those muscles. So you're coming onto the belly, your elbows are going out nice and wide, and you're gonna stack one hand on top of the other. Then your forehead is going to connect to the back of the hands here and you want to take your legs as wide as your yoga mat. So create a really nice sacral relaxation as well for an additional benefit. Rest the forehead all the way down and really try to soften into shoulders. Let everything feel supported by the earth. You're going to pause there for about 30 seconds, simply breathing and feeling that expansion of your breath through the belly and the back body, just like so. Beautiful. We're going to come up to hands and knees for our next stretch here. So coming on to all fours, we're working our way through our cat cow posture. Now the main one we're going to focus on is cat, but it can be really nice to do both. So we're going to inhale, starting with cow, allow the belly to fall towards the earth. Nice dip in the back here. Lift the head, press your heart space forward. Good. Then we're going to exhale through cat. Draw your belly towards your spine. Round your upper back. This is where I want you to focus. Press down into the hands like you're trying to move the earth. Press down, drop the head. Good. Inhale, cow. Belly drops. Head lifts, heart opens. Exhale, cat. Belly draws in, back rounds, and head drops. Good. You're going to do about 12 cycles of that, but I want to show you a seated alternative as hands and knees can sometimes be a little intense for our joints. So if that's you, you can sit in a chair in any comfortable seated posture and do this alternative. Your arms are going to come forward. We're going to pull Pull the arms wide and back, lift your chin up, press your heart forward for a cow variation. And then you're going to round the arms forward, really round the upper back, draw belly to spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Cat. Inhale, opening for cow, arms pull back, chin lifts, heart opens. Exhale, round, belly to spine, round the upper back, arms forward, head drops in. Good, and come all the way back. Again, about 12 rounds of that. And our next movement is gonna be thread the needle. We're back on hands and knees. So coming to that tabletop position here. Good, allow the tops of the feet to be relaxed here. And then we're gonna take the hands one handprint forward. So traditionally in all fours, our wrist is right under our shoulder and our knees are underneath the hips. So I want you to move one handprint forward, create a little bit more space. Beautiful. We're going to begin with the left arm. So you're going to take the left hand, slide the left hand underneath the right arm. The left palm is facing up to the sky. You want to drop your left shoulder all the way to the earth along with the left side of the face. Good. Now this right hand can reach out long if you're comfortable, or you can hold it in that bent position. You want to focus here on shifting the hips back. So keeping everything else still, but shift the hips back to get a little bit longer reach. And you want to reach those left fingertips as far as you can. Breathe and hold. Again, you're going to spend about 20 to 30 seconds here. And then we're going to come up and switch to the other side. So replace your left hand. Take your right hand, palm up to the sky. Slide it across. Drop right shoulder and right side of the head to the mat. Breathe and hold. So holding those each side for 20 to 30 seconds. Now, again, if that feels too intense for the joints, we can go ahead and do a seated variation. It's going to be a little less intense as well. So your left hand's going to come across the chest. 
palm of the hand is open, my right hand's gonna grab underneath of that left forearm to assist in pulling it a little further. Really reach left fingertips towards the right side without letting any other part of the body move. Breathe and hold, feeling that upper back begin to open and release. Beautiful work. Go ahead, you wanna hold that for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat on the other side. We're gonna stay seated for our next movement here. Again, you can be in a chair or any comfortable seated posture. What can be great about this one is there are a few variations. You can take your left fingertips to the earth, or my personal favorite is actually you can sit on your left hand. What this is starting to do in both of those postures is pulling that left shoulder down, which is gonna allow us to stretch the side of the neck further. We're gonna take right fingertips with a feather touch, so super light, to the top of the head. Draw the right ear to the right shoulder. And this can be any amount. It's a reminder that you control this movement. We shouldn't feel pain here. We should just feel a deep stretch. So if we're feeling pain, we back off of the stretch. Good. So you're gonna hold the right ear to the right shoulder, either sitting on left hand to ground the left shoulder down, or left fingertips to the earth and intensify by walking those left fingertips behind the body. Holding this side for 20 to 30 seconds, and then you're going to repeat on the other side, making sure that we breathe into the body here, taking it nice and easy. Good. Next movement, it's a play on the first move or the variation of thread the needle. So if you were taking variation of thread the needle, this is the modified version of our next movement as well. But for this movement, we're gonna start with left arm, we're gonna bend it up, we're gonna take the left hand into a fist. Good. With your right hand, you're gonna take that right hand into a fist, hook it underneath of the left, and then pull the left to the right. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that again. So both hands in a fist, left hand is about 90 degrees in front of you. You're gonna take your right hand in a fist, the crease of the right elbow is gonna hook right underneath of that left arm, and then with that hook, you're gonna use that right arm, pull the left arm towards the right side. What you wanna be mindful of here is that you're not rotating through the body, because then you're stretching through our, up or through our mid back as opposed to upper back, okay? So keep the body forward. Again, this can be done in any seated posture and you're holding here again 20 to 30 seconds. When you're done, we're gonna repeat other side, so I'll walk you through that. Both hands in a fist, right arm 90 degrees, left arm hooks under the right, pull towards the left, and you control this movement so you pull just as intensely as you need. Again, you should feel this opening through the upper back, but it shouldn't be super intense. Good, breathe, no pain, just a deep stretch. Nice, holding again, 20 to 30 seconds. And then we're moving into our last posture here. We're gonna take the wall to assist us. And this is a three part movement. So we start by taking our right hand back behind us, connecting the palm of the hand to the wall. And this is about a 45 degree downward angle. Okay, that's really important. And you're gonna rotate your body away from the arm. So the arm is back behind you, 45 degree downward angle. This is what I would look like on the wall. Good. Okay, just like so, body is directly against the wall. Then you're going to come back, face the wall for a second. It's important to face the wall. I don't want you to move the arm behind the body. Face the wall, bring the arm up to shoulder height. Turn so that the side of the body connects to the wall again. You're facing away from the arm. Good. Come face the wall again. Now this may be as high as you go. If that felt really intense, really difficult, you're gonna stay here for now and slowly, progressively practice to work your way up. But if that felt okay, you can try the third level, which is an upward 45. So we had a low 45 a 90 degree, and now we're doing upward 45. Once the hand's in position, you rotate away. Again, the body should be touching the wall. Good. 
You want to hold each of those three spots or however many you can do for 20 to 30 seconds each. So low, 20 to 30 seconds, medium, and high. Remember, if you can only do the two lowest ones or even just the lowest one, it's a great place to start. The more you practice that, the more you're going to build up. Then you're going to do the same three on the other arm as well, making sure body is touching the wall, you're facing away from the wall or the arm. Make sure you don't move the arm behind the body. That's how you're going to pull through the tendons there. So I want you to face the wall, move the arm, connect back to the wall. I hope that helps. Be sure to practice them. Stretch out, open through the upper body. Good luck.